Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a petite mall dupe from Louis Vuitton that I found on Amazon. If that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday and I'd love to see you back here again. They're all designer and fashion related and I never pay full price for any of these pieces. And I'd love to share with you all my tips and tricks of the trade. If that's something you would like, please subscribe below and ring my bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, let's get started. So the Petite Mall, if you're not familiar with, I'm gonna insert a picture for you. This bag has been going nuts and it is crazy because it is such a tiny, tiny bag, but it is a huge price point. I'm gonna have to look it up, but I think it's, it's close to, what is it, over $4,000 for this bag that you could hardly fit anything in, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This piece kind of, mirrors the or is a wink back to the Louis Vuitton started out where they started out as making trunks and luggage pieces so any collector true collector it is a dream to be able to own one of these vintage pieces or have one of their new trunks made and designed for you in your home and it is the most expensive coffee table you will ever own that you will never put anything on <laughs> so for a lot of us seeing that petite model to be able to own that you kind of have a little bit of the that past that that Louis Vuitton is known for but the price tag to be honest with you is crazy expensive but you know I really liked the look and I was actually just looking on Amazon like how this came I wasn't like looking for a petite model I was just kind of like curious looking at what kind of designer dupes were out because I had seen some videos on some cool pieces that people found on Amazon and I've never bought a designer dupe on Amazon so I thought why not look this up and then this one popped up um, when I was looking for like a Valentino rock stud type of dupe this popped up that I might like it and I was like wow that's kind of impressive and I it was only $23 and shipping was free yes it came from China um, but it was a definitely a dupe that I thought was worth just trying because even if it didn't work out it's only $23 so I'm very surprised and I'm going to show this to you so this is the dupe right here now Granted, $23, it is not real leather, it is not high quality material, but you have to admit, looking at this, like if you're just glancing at it, it looks pretty nice. It doesn't look like shabby, broken up, run down, like it actually looks like it's like decent quality for, you know, fake leather. It has the trunk kind of style right here. Um, and the opening has like a detachable strap. Yes, the strap looks kind of like, kind of looks ratchet and <laughs> it's seen better days. But if you take the strap off, it actually doesn't look half bad. And then you just click here to open. This opens up similar to what it does. Now there is no magnet. Like this would just flop open and the inside it's plain, it doesn't have that really pretty lining or the wing to the trunk, and it does say made in China in it. However, I mean, it's a pretty cute look to it, and it just snaps right in, similar to the Petite Mall. Now, mine, I will be returning this. I just kind of wanted to show it to you. Um, it's not because I don't like the look or I don't like um, the quality. As you see, it's not a, um, a knockoff. It doesn't have any of the LV or Louis Vuittons on there, but mine has a little bit of, instead of having three spaces here, it has like a little bit of a defect right there. So I contacted the seller and I went ahead and told them about it. So I'm hoping to exchange it, but if not, I'm just gonna return it. Um, but I wanted to share this with you because I was pretty like impressed and I love that it doesn't say, it doesn't say LV on it. It's not pretending to be Louis Vuitton, but it's definitely a pretty good dupe. Okay, so now that we looked at it, it's not too bad. Let's see what I can actually fit in this really, really tiny bag here. I'm gonna show you the bag that I'm currently rocking. This is my uh, Fendi uh, Mama Baguette bag that you saw in my previous video that I just had to have and I got on Poshmark for a steal. So go ahead and watch that video, I'll link it below. But obviously, I'm not gonna be able to put all this stuff in here, but let's just see what we can fit a wallet in here. This is my Rosaline coin. Let's see. That will fit. That will shut. That's pretty much looks like it's taking up most of the room. Yeah, that'll shut. So let's see. I could probably fit 
my phone in with this and nothing else, but let's just see, I'm recording on my phone so I can't put that in. Let's see if we can fit this. This is getting really, see if we can fit this because it also bends in on the side. Okay, no, that will not fit. So that is pretty much, let's see, let's take this out. Let's go ahead. Yep, that will fit. Take my wallet out and let's just put a card holder in there and see if that works. It does and still a little bit of room. I maybe can fit my phone in there, but probably nothing else. And most likely I would have to take this out and just put like a lo my loose key fob in there for it to shut because it is a snug fit. There is a little pocket here where you could put like a card. If you didn't want to bring a card case, you could probably put what you needed. But yeah, you can't fit much in there. So let me know what you think. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. But yeah, what do you think about this dupe here? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you again. Bye, guys.